Welcome back to Applause. Since its inception, Malcolm Brown Gallery has been at the forefront of exposing new and seasoned audiences to a variety of artistic achievers. Celebrating its silver anniversary, the gallery is currently featuring the works of the first artist to exhibit at the space a quarter of a century ago, gallery namesake Malcolm Brown. We found a place and decided to open the gallery in 1980. There were several places that turned us down on you know, Jacob Square, but um, we were just lucky to uh, find something. And we've been in the same place for 25 years. They didn't want to rent to uh, African Americans in Shaker Heights. Uh, and we looked for almost two years before we could find what we felt was the right spot. Um, but we never gave up hope. You know, we knew it was going to happen eventually. And it did. We named the gallery Malcolm Brown Gallery because Malcolm had a, reg a reputation within the local arts community. Um, he'd worked in American Greetings and had won lots of prizes and then became a member of the American Watercolor Society and that was in 1973. And according to what I've been told, still they've never had more than uh, four or five African American artists to achieve membership in that organization and, and they are elected to membership. I take a lot of slides when I go to a place. I take a lot of slides. I work from a slide projector to look at my compositions because I can't be at this place for a long time and um, it's very costly to stay maybe. So uh, that's why he takes slides. I may maybe make a small sketch just to work out darks and lights, values and things. But um, I try to be very simple and bold and, and at the beginning. And then work from uh, big shapes to detail. And the detail is the la very last thing I do. That is the key. And plan for instance, for, if, if I'm doing a watercolor, I really have to plan because I, uh, and I try to save the whites areas for contrast and sharpness and spontaneity. I'm sort of a more spontaneous person. I like spontaneous, free. I'm that way myself. So watercolor for, for me was easy. It is a difficult medium because once you attack it, put it down, it's, it's there. You can't go back and change anything. So you got to plan ahead. And I just had a feel for it earlier. I had a f and uh, I used to doodle a lot, which was good, you know. And uh, if you're free and uninhibited, you, you do better in watercolor. I don't know why that is, but... The best things are those when you're do, trying to do something and you don't, don't think about it. If you labor over it, if you try to, oh, I'm got, I got to try to do this this way, it it never works out. But the easiest ones are the ones that you you're not even thinking. It just it comes from the the heart. Yeah. Our intent from the very beginning was to showcase the, the uh, breadth of works done by African American artists. It has been an education for the community. We had to make people aware of their significance. The artists that we feel that were really most important or among the most important ones we brought were Romare Bearden, Elizabeth Catlett, Huey Lee Smith had not shown here in 50 years when we had his exhibit, 
Uh, and then later in the 90s, we did Selma Burke, and she did the image of Roosevelt all the time. That, I think, made a difference for us. We did not rely on just uh, individuals here. We, we went out and got the very best. And that, I think, really helped the activity here. Just that, uh, really, really, I think, um, it did something for us, and it really helped us. And we, and the other collectors from around the country, you know, say, oh, let me get, let me feed into that. Now you get, you get a sense of what it looks oh, yeah, like on the wall. Yeah, that's, we should have put it on the wall in the first place. Well, thing. that's exactly I'm what I'm telling you, it because it is beautiful. I leave a lot to the viewer to, to uh, talk about it. And that's uh, my approach. And I always have something in mind when I'm doing this. I want to achieve some, the flavor of the place with some light, some nice spontaneity, nice movement, nice sharp contrast. Those are some things I'm shooting for. More semi-abstract or tendency not to put too much, leave some out, leave some out to the viewer. Sometimes I do a painting and personally maybe read read a lot into it rather than say, oh, that's so-and-so. Uh, I leave a lot to the viewer to, to uh, talk about. It. I don't feel that I've made, really made it. I'm always searching, always looking, always uh, wanting to do something better. I, I, I feel I've done well, but I'm always keeping my eye on the, the old masters. If you'd like more information about the Malcolm Brown Gallery, log on to the Applause website at wviz.org or call 216-751-2955. And for more arts and culture programming, be sure to join me weekdays at 12 p.m. for Around Noon on 90.3 WCPN Idea Stream. That's it for this round of applause, but before we leave, here's another look at the work of artist Malcolm Brown. I'm Dee Perry. See you next week on Applause.